Today, I want to give you guys a quick tip about building and improving your housing in Palea. So, for those that don't know, whenever you go to the City Hall store, you can buy different rooms here. I'm just going to buy one of each. And I'm going to show you why a little bit later in the video. Let's buy a fireplace. I'm not buying the Harvest House. The only reason to buy the Harvest House is if you want to have multiple different houses on different plots. So, you cannot place this down if you already have one place down. And because after the first, you know, house building quest, you technically have one. There's no reason to buy this unless you want multiple plots. But, let's just buy another round. I bought uh, one of each, so now I have two of each. And the reason that we're doing this is so that we can invest time now. Because everything I just bought takes real life time to build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the time to build it now, and once it's built, you can simply just put the fully constructed building into storage, and then you can plop it back down wherever you want and configure it however you want without having to wait eight real life hours to do it again. So let me show you what that looks like and how that works in case you're still new to expanding your house in Palea if you're still new to building your house. I'm just going to show you. It's pretty simple. It's very intuitive compared to other games uh, in this genre, in this niche, in the cozy sphere, so to speak. Very simple stuff. So, uh, also, there's a bug right now where not all of the gardening plots properly load. I don't know what's going on, but um, I can't touch... Th there's actually crops here. I can't touch them, and I can't... <laughs> I can't get them. But, uh... Hey, it'll fi they'll fix it eventually. So, when you press H, you'll see that I have, a, like, a bunch of random stuff going on, right? Uh, I have, like, these, these random fireplace add-ons. And these things take a long time to build, right? So, let's say I just take this fireplace and, uh, you know, just remove it. There we go. We've removed the fireplaces. So, now I have, uh, here in our housing section, I've got fireplaces. So we can just throw one down, and then throw another one down, and then there we go. Uh, zero time spent. But because of the things that I just bought, I have blueprints here. And so you can see I have the fireplace add-on, so let's put the add-on there. Let's put one there. Uh, and you'll notice that instead of a fireplace, it's this little building plot here. And it wants some materials. It wants some planks, so I'm just, I don't have enough planks at the moment. You know, I can hit contribute on that. And uh, do I have enough stone bricks for that one? Yes, I do. And there we go. So, let me just grab some planks real quick because I did prepare some for a video. Let's go ahead and yoink them out of here. That's... Well, I don't know if that's enough. Uh, <laughs> might have to edit this video. But, uh, let's see... Yeah, that is enough. Alright, so when I hit contribute, this is what happens. It changes slightly, and when I talk to the sign now, it will take four real-life hours until I have a fireplace again. So what you always want to be doing, especially when you've hit late game, you've got all of your machine licenses, you've got all your storage. Like you can see right here, I have the 10,000 storage chests, so my storage is, is full. I've got, you know, the full, uh, what is this, the uh, lockbox storages. I, I've got basically every upgrade, I've got all the backpacks. So what, what am I supposed to spend money on? What am I supposed to spend resources on? And that is building and expanding your house. And so... What you want to do is, the more you build and expand your house, the more you can build and expand your house. So, I can just, uh, you know, grab this, put it away, and uh, let's just put away these little hallway sections here. And uh, I want to keep the big ones because I can, you know, attach more stuff to them. So, let's, let's start with more big rooms. We'll put a big room there, and we can put a big room there, and I can put a hallway here, and a hallway here, and... Can't put a small room there or there unless I, I use the Ritz to unlock these. I'd have to buy Ritz for that. And uh, that's why you... Here's the thing, too. You don't really want to spend Ritz until you have your focus at 100%. And technically, you want more focus... A uh, max focus than 650. So that's what I'm going to spend my Ritz on. But now all I have to do is go out and farm a bunch of planks and stone. And then I talk to these signs. Get these all nice and constructed up. And then while these timers are running... Uh, that's just more, that's just being more efficient with your time, because eventually, if you play this game enough, you're going to want just a big mega mansion, maybe, maybe not, that covers your entire plot, and when that day comes, you're going to want your little house section here, just full of 
tons and tons of options because you might want like 10 hallways, maybe you want 10 big rooms, maybe you want a bunch of small rooms. I don't know, maybe you're making like a haunted house and you can invite people over to your island, or not island, it's a habit from another game. Invite people over to your land plot and you have to take them through like 30 different rooms that are all like, like maybe you make a maze and if someone gets to the end of the maze you, you can send them a, I don't know, a cake or something. I'm not sure. But there's still lots of lots of things that you're going to be wanting to do and uh, yeah this is just a tips video because a lot of people they really dread this step they're like I don't want to wait four real life hours for a fireplace that's stupid and if you do the work now if you put in the effort now to build these up eventually you're you're going to not have to worry about it ever again so the sooner you do it the better but of course, because it's a huge money sink, I mean, I had, what, 150,000 uh, gold. When I started the video, I'm down to 82,000 gold. And, uh, you know, you know, to me, like, gold is, is that's all I'm spending it on now is the housing stuff. I can go buy furniture in the, in the markets and, and whatnot. Uh, other than that, gold is just a time saver. I can harvest all these crops, and then I don't have to go mine for iron because I can just go buy the iron bars. Though so technically you would want to mine the iron to level up your mining anyway. So it's really up to you how you want to play the game. I'm not trying to tell you how to play the game. I'm just trying to tell you how to save time in the future by letting you know that you can build these now. And that once they're built, you can just pick them up and tuck them away in storage in your magical ethereal dimension storage box or whatever. And, and you're good to go. You're all set. Like, uh, can I add anything? Wait. I think we already established I can't add anything. You can also pick up the whole house and kind of scoot it over a bit. There we go. And uh, can I add a 9 by... Yeah, we can add a 9 by 9 there. And then I can maybe scoot this back a bit like that. And maybe add another 9 by 9 there. See, look, I can just... I have a, like... Every corner is adding construction. So, uh, very nice, very cool. I've got lots and lots of um, farming I need to do because each of these are going to take hundreds of planks. And, uh, you know, chopping wood, it's it's pretty easy. You, you can get plenty of wood, right? And these things, they're, they're fast. Like, a plank of wood is 40 seconds. What to do, right? Anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you know, start start building, start constructing. It gives you a reason to go out and chop trees, which, um, for those that don't realize it, when you chop trees, they have a chance to respawn as uh, the magical... Uh, what are they called? The, the purple trees. Dang it. Uh, I'm so bad with names. What is your name? Your name is Flow Infused Wood. Yes, they can respawn as Flow Infused, so go out there and do your duty to chop trees. Get to constructing, lads, and ladies, because apparently, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at my YouTube analytics. I went from 99% a male audience to an 80% male audience. That's kind of wild to me. That's kind of a little different for this channel, but hey, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the like button before you head out. And um, here's the thing, right? Please subscribe because I'm so close to 100k. It's my lifelong dream just to hit that number uh, before I die. Thank you so much once again. On the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If you click that video, then you will have a lucky week. An entire seven days of luck. That's right. Instead of a curse this time, it's a blessing. So click that video on the right side of your screen and enjoy the free luck.